next video, I am going to show you how to use Axis. I use a get method for Axis. So let's start. First of all, I open my editor, and this is this simple code I wrote here. This only display this text that is get method. Okay. For that, I install Axis. Let's go to the first one. And right here is Axios and human open the first link. Copy this dependency from here and paste it in your editor. So our dependency installed successfully. Let's check it from package.json file. And here is our dependency Axios. Let's import it here. Import Axios from Axios. Okay. Now I create here a cycle. Cycle is component with non cycle I use here. Why I use this cycle? Because this cycle run every time when a render function run. Okay, here I write up for Axios. Axios dot get dot bin dot catch. So this is the format to write access. Let's implement it in a real time example. Okay, for that I open my PC project that is Tarvalva and the developers even need some APIs to implement that APIs in their project. I give you examples from the APIs and let's use this trade equity. And you can see this is the method that used here. You can check it also in Postman software. I will explain you about that later how to check this in Postman. So simply press this cat and the backend developer give here a condition to enter field up. So I write here an ID that is given me. What is this? This field ID is not necessary for all the APIs, but in this API, the backend developer restricted me to use this field ID. If you check this field API and get you can see in this API, the developer did not restrict me to use any ID. I will press try it out. And this is basically my request URL. From here to here is my URL, and after this, this is my ID that I have given to this API. And after implementing this API, I get this type of response. Okay, in the copy this from here and paste it here. And here is our URL. And after that, when Axis gets this URL, after this URL, Axis gets something and that shows in this file and then here I write this response. What is this response? This is a response that I get from this here. Okay. And then where I show this response, I simply show the response in the console. So I write here console remove. This and in this console, this is called virtual. Okay, and in in cat file, the error show us. Okay, for that, simply write here error. Let's see. What I have done, first of all, I use this URL with this ID. This is this ID not necessary for all the APIs. This depends on 
our backend browser. My backend browser restricted me to use this field ID. Otherwise, this is my URL. Okay. After this URL, this gave me a response, and that response is in this object. And I control this response here, but here this gives me an error, and that will that error is let me show you something that response time that response is in this form and this is basically a string form okay and i have to change this thing to json for that simply write here json for pass if your data is in parse format, you have to convert it into stringify and if you want JSON data, then you have to use parse function. So I use here parse and the response dot what is the response and the response is basically a backup. So I use here that's it. If I want to show this, then simply form formal like this and paste it. Okay. okay, let's explain you again. This is the that format I use from Italy, and this is our URL. And after this URL, please give us uh, data data is in any form. This is in stringify form or JSON form. Okay, so our data is in stringify form. So we convert that data here. Let's see for pass response for what is this data? This data is basically the name of our object. If our data is simply write in this format without this object. This is compulsory, but if this condition occurs, then we didn't use this data. Okay. We will say this is basically the procedure to use axis. Okay, let's do something more for that. Before that, let's run this manual later. Then you can see. Something that is important for you. And here we have to run in the Our project is running successfully, and you can see our definitive show in our screen. So let's check our console because I showed this in our console, and there is our console. There is an error that is type error undefined is an object evaluating response to data. Okay, let's check this. Name to data and change it to data. Control save and here is our data. So you can see field ID, field thread ID. Let's go to Google Chrome and this data is shown in our console. So now I have to put this in a flag list. Why I put this in flag list? Because this is a number of data. This is not a single data, that's why I have to put all this in flag list or map. So let's implement flag list. For flag list, simply import here flag list. And here I write flag list. You 
can see in our console this data is in array form you can see an array sign here so I give this data to an empty array let's create an array here I write here a constructor this dot state is equal to an array and here is an array let's copy this data into this array okay. so that simply write here this dot set state an array and here write this Control C and, and let's check this an array first. For that, I control here again. Control your log and array data and all here this dot state dot array. Control C and let's check. Our console in my first console this data show and after this log an array data and this data is same as this data okay so you can see our array copied an array object through this command set state okay after that show this into our mobile for that I implement here a flag list and in flag list I write here data is equal to this dot state dot and array and our array data move into this data okay. now I write here render item this is a built-in function in flag list and in this render function you have to perform your operations in this data and this data came from an array but I create here uh, another function for this simply write here this dot render item okay, and create a function mean render item Paste it here and I write here and set a function. This is basically the part of this flag list. I also use this function here, but I use this in my class above the render because this is basically a good approach to write a function here. That's why I write here render item. Okay, after that, simply customize it according to your need. And our need is simply initialize here item and here write here a view. And in this view, let's style here style is equal to background color is yellow, width is Hundred percent and the height is seven. Control save. Let's check it in our screen. Nothing shows because we didn't do anything here. Okay. Now the next step is to call the data, and data is in text form. So I write here text. Item dot check here a name and the name is gonna be just like we have to get trade name. Okay. Check the spelling T R A I T and E. Okay, T R A I T and A and E trade name. 
will save and nothing shows because we didn't write here return I forget it to return here cut this from here and paste it here we will save if I comment this nothing shows you Here it is. You can see the height and background color shows yellow. Let's see if we can do that. That is shows. And here I give a styling to my flat list, and you can see how it got shown perfectly. Let's clean it from scratch. First of all, I write here axis and the method which I use and I use here get method. There are two types of methods, get method and post method. Get method is used to get something from an API and post is for to send data to an API. So I get data, but how I get data? I get data through this URL and according to this ID. This ID is basically just like a login function for each user. If the ID change, the user change and the data change. Okay. So this user, this ID give us this type of data that I show in my console. And if you want to show something other than this trade name, let's simply write here. Copy this, paste it here, and if I like to write field ID, simply item dot field ID. So this is the working of access get method. Thank you for today's video.